Hello princesses, welcome back to another video. First thing I want to say is kind of a mini story, but basically when I was in New York I lost my camera, which is a huge bummer because I had a ton of videos already planned and ready for you guys. All I had to do was upload them to my computer. So I lost that, which is really sad. So I'm filming this on my computer because I cannot get a new because I cannot get a new camera for a little bit. But this video is a video that I mentioned in my last video and this is my 10 tips for preparing for a photo shoot um, this can also go for runway but it's more focused towards photo shoots or just any like event you may have so it could be tolo homecoming prom whatever just getting yourself ready for what you need to do and looking good on camera so the first tip is drinking water. Water, 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 I can't talk. Water will make your skin look super hot, super nice, super glowy, and overall help out with acne, hair, skin, keep everything flowing. So drink your water. Um, my next tip is exercise. And it kind of depends on the kind of photo shoot you're going to, whether it's a fitness photo shoot, a high fashion photo shoot, whether you're doing an editorial, or if it's a fashion, so the high fashion fashion. Um, it really depends, so do the exercise you need to do for that photo shoot. Exercise is important, It keep, so when you sweat, it also keeps your skin looking really glowy, and glowy skin looks great on camera. Um, tip number three is eat balanced meals the week before, and by balanced meals, I mean have your protein, which is, I'd recommend lean protein, which is chicken breast, uh, lots of different types of fish, salmon doesn't really apply, tilapia, whitefish, stuff like that. Um, nothing fried, nothing deep fried at all. Like, zip. Uh, you can bake, grill, stuff like that. And lots of veggies, lots of green veggies. Because green veggies are a lot better. I'm not, when I say eat veggies, I do not mean go to McDonald's and get french fries because that is not good for you. Next is confidence. Confidence is key at a photo shoot because you are most likely going to be in front of two to three, possibly a, t a lot more people, and if you're all shy in front of the camera, you won't get the photos you want, they probably won't hire you again because you'll be all timid and not willing to do what they want you to do. And if the more goofy and fun you are, the more willing you are to do crazy things, um, the more likely you are to get a better shot and the day and lots of good stuff. And you want fun photos. Like if this is for your comp card, like if you're going to get your photos taken for your book, which is what you show agents and what you show casting directors when you go to those auditions, you want good photos. Like you don't want bad photos because those are the photos that they'll look at before they hire you. Next is plan ahead. So you would like to plan ahead and make sure you know where you're supposed to meet the photographer. Make sure you know what you're supposed to bring if you're supposed to bring anything. So be sure to plan ahead. You do not want to be stressing on the day of your photo shoot or the day before. Plan ahead. Next is pack extras. So always have extra heels, nude and black, in your car. And also bring extra makeup, just in case, you never know. And hairspray. Because, oh, a strapless bra, and a black bra, and nude underwear. Sorry guys, my list goes on. You want to bring those things just in case the stylist needs that or the makeup artist needs that, don't, doesn't have it, because they who are they going to hire? They want to hire the prepared person, the person who knows what they're doing. Next thing is know your angles. So if you're going to a photo shoot and if they're not posing you, you're going to want to know, oh, my right side's better, or, or oh, my left side's better. Sorry, that's my left side. I don't know why I said right. You're going to want to know, and you're going to want to know based off of where the lights are, how you want to pose. Um, angles also depend on what you're modeling. If you're modeling a certain clothing item, you are modeling the clothing, not yourself. So be sure to keep that in mind. Next is when you go to a photo shoot, no makeup and hair there are, or tight clothing. There are always those girls who come in in their skinny jeans and their tube tops with their hair already done and their makeup already done. And that is horrible because the makeup artist and the hair artist, or maybe they're one person, are going to be doing your hair and makeup so I'm not sure why you do that before and why would you wear tight and don't wear tight clothing because if they leave lines in your skin if they put you in other clothing items it's gonna look really weird next is make sure your skin looks good so if you have acne like I do which you can see because my camera does not blur that out 
you want to go see a dermatologist probably two months in advance if you have that time or if you have photo shoot coming up tomorrow for example you want to go in today or sometime this week as soon as you can because you want to your skin to be clear in the future I am working on that I have medications and topicals um, so also for you people who don't have acne and are lucky you want to eat healthy drink lots of water so your skin looks glowy and nice maybe go get a facial or go do your, give yourself a facial or whatever you want to do next is pack this is my last step pack snacks because sometimes photo shoots can go anywhere from 15 well 15 will be a really fast photo shoot but anywhere from probably an hour to four or five possibly longer it really depends on what you're shooting and you're gonna get hungry so bring light snacks snacks that won't bloat you so celery sticks almonds stuff like that you do not want to look sick uh, you don't want to look bloated in so pack snacks that'll make you feel good but it'll also keep you full longer and my last tip is for a photo shoot this is kind of tip number 11 but whatever is bring straws because after the makeup artist has spent probably a good 30 minutes to an hour on your makeup you do not want to mess up your lips because that is extremely insulting um, to have just worked on something and then just have someone mess it up because they needed to drink some of their water or their soda or whatever they're drinking. So bring straws, always handy. Those are all my tips. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below if there's anything you want to see in the future and I love you all.